Ahoy! Today is a beautiful day. Because recently we talked about damage numbers in New World. And today I have finally gotten all of the numbers together. I've done everything that I needed to do to verify every single weapon scaling. And it was a lot of work and I'm very happy that it's done. <laughs> so, in this context we'll need to talk about numbers again. Because the scaling numbers that I have now look a little bit different. Certain aspects that I found still apply, such as the diminishing returns on putting all your points into a single stat. But we need to dive a little bit deeper on the scaling values, because scaling in New World is actually way, way more complicated than I expected. But I'll try to simplify it. So after I posted my findings on Reddit the other day, Reddit user Piskoy pointed out that there was somebody else who had run a similar test, who had gotten somewhat different results, and was under the impression that potentially the scaling changes with your gear score, so that weapons at lower gear score would scale lower. That seemed a bit odd, but made it clear that my journey to find the correct scalings was not complete yet. Thanks to difficult bit 1339, I was pointed to another thread by XPS Gaming. XPS Gaming or Experience Gaming is a data miner, and they had found the in-game values for scaling. But when I tried to apply these to the scalings that I found, they didn't make any sense. Yet. And then KNTRST, I'm guessing that means contrast, pointed out something very interesting to me, which is that I didn't put my scalings in context of the base damage. So thanks to all of them, the puzzle started to make a little bit more sense. And this next part is very important if you want to understand how you get additional damage through additional attributes, because it is not nearly as simple as it seems. What I had assumed was that the scaling works the same way as in the game where I came from, Smite. You have your base damage that is unaffected by anything, and then scaling is affected by your attributes, and that is added to the base damage. That is not the case in New World at all. Instead, any attribute bonus that you get scales with your weapon's base damage. That means the higher your weapon damage is, the more extra damage you get out of a single point in an attribute. That doesn't mean that you get more percentage-wise, but in terms of flat value, in terms of damage value, you simply get more, because it's percentage-based. That means a weapon with higher base damage can be a huge upgrade. So I ran the numbers again, did the calculation how much damage each weapon would have when you have 5 attribute points each, the numbers at the end still didn't add up. You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. I ran the calculations again and this time went down with the attributes to zero, so everything would essentially have no scaling on it, assuming that was the weapon's base damage. That still didn't end up with the right numbers. What I did find at this point is that a lot of the weapons had consistent scalings between them, so I knew I was on the right track and my calculations made sense, I was just missing one important point. At this point I want to thank DevZool, who wrote further explanations in my comment section, as well as Big Bear Cutie, who offered his help on Discord, and the one who ultimately gave me the answer, which was Red Buddha. Red Buddha had been digging deeper into the data and tried to come up with a formula to calculate the entire weapon of a damage. What they explained to me was that I had to look at a different number. So the answer was basically right in front of my eyes the whole time. If you look at my beautiful great axe from the beta, then you will see a damage number up top. You'll see the 605. And this was the number that I had tried to somehow break down to get to a base damage value. But I was looking in the wrong place. See that 209 slash damage down there? That is the base damage value. The number at the top is actually composed of a variety of different stats. That's your attributes going into it, but also your player level, which adds additional, I think, 2.5% scaling per level, as well as potentially a factor for a heavy attack, it seems, and then some other stuff that, as far as I'm aware, Red Buddha also hasn't fully figured out. Some things about that still seem to be slightly off and mismatched, but most of it is solved at this point. At this point, a quick reminder, if you enjoyed the video so far and you like this type of information, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell. That really helps me out and keeps you updated for future info videos like this. And that's why you can never use the top value for any calculations, because, for example, depending on your level, you may have different extra scaling on it. The base image value that is at the bottom, however, is independent of your level or anything else, and that is what we can use to calculate the bonus damage from attributes consistently between all weapons. 
And this is where a number comes in that I actually previously dismissed, which is the 0.9 scaling. So there are three different weapon scalings in New World, and one type of weapon uses one of them, and the other one uses two of them. This depends on if your weapon scales with one attribute or with two attributes. Weapons that only scale with one attribute use a 100% scaling. This is the Great Axe and Warhammer with Strength, the Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet with Intelligence, the Bow with Dexterity, and the Life Staff with Focus. In comparison, weapons that scale with two attributes have slightly reduced scalings. For their primary attribute, that is 90% compared to the 100% of the previously mentioned weapons. The weapons with 90% scaling on their primary attribute are Hatchet and Sword with Strength, and Spear, Rapier and Musket with Dexterity. The same weapons also scale with a secondary attribute, and here the scaling is 65%. This means that initially they benefit less from investing into this attribute. These are the same weapons as before, and this time the attributes are Strength for the Spear, Dexterity for the Hatchet and Sword, and Intelligence for the Rapier and Musket. Now that we know this, we can look at the full scalings. Again, these numbers were originally data mined by XPS Gaming, and I tested and verified them for every single weapon now. If we look at a weapon with a 100% scaling, like the Great Axe, then between 0 and 100 points of the attributes that the weapon scales with, investing 10 points into the attribute increases our damage by 16.25% of our weapon's base damage. So for example, looking at our Great Axe here, assuming we had under 100 strength, we would take the 209 base damage value, multiply that by 16.25 and add that to the 605 at the top, so that would end up being an extra 34 damage, giving us 639 damage. A 34 damage increase for 10 points sounds pretty good to me. What sounds even better is the total number of extra damage that you get from 0 to 100 attribute points, which is 162.5% of your weapon damage. Keep in mind that doesn't mean that your damage is increased by 162.5%, because weapon damage also is affected by other things afterwards, such as your level, so your damage will not increase by that much. For example, for the level 60 weapons that I had ran my test with, the overall damage, not just the weapon damage, the total damage, roughly increased by 66% between 1 point and 100 points. Now, we'll show you those scalings later as well, but I can't verify them 100% yet, because there may be certain things that scale differently, for example, depending on if you're wearing light or heavy armor with the 20% scaling increase. So I can't 100% verify them, they are more of an experimental bonus. For now, back to the confirmed scalings. As you can see, from 100 to 150 attribute points, the scaling goes down from 16 to 13%. Then from 150 to 200, it goes down to 11.7. After that, from 200 to 250, it's at 10.4. And from 250 to 300, where I couldn't verify it anymore, it's 9.1, and then above 300, it's 7.8. So, consistent with my findings from the other day, the more points you invest, the less extra damage you get. I also added the totals here. Obviously, the value between 0 and 100 is quite high, because that's 100 points and not just 50 points like the others. But you can have an overview of that. We also need to talk about weapons that scale with two attributes. We're going to throw all the numbers on the screen here so you can see them. We've already talked about how these come to be. And what's interesting here is that now we're dealing with two attributes at the same time that we can switch between. If we look at the primary attribute, then we definitely want to get the first 150 points. First we have 14.63% scaling, and then we have 11.7% scaling. But the scaling from 150 to 200 is almost the same as the scaling on the secondary attribute from 0 to 100. In one case it's 10.53 and in the other one it's 10.56, really doesn't make a difference. I already said last time that at this point you might want to consider switching over depending on which attribute perk for 50 points is more important to you, if you'd rather have the 200 points perk or the 50 points perk. And depending on which attributes you're looking at, the 200 points perk is not always better, though it can be. So if we're min-maxing damage, then first we're looking at investing 150 points into our primary attribute, and then we're looking at investing another 50 points into a primary attribute and 100 points into a secondary attribute in whichever order you prefer. 
After that, you would switch back to your primary attribute and go from 200 to 250, where you have a 9.36% scaling, but then you would switch back to your secondary attribute and invest 100 to 150 points to get the 8.45% scaling. And you can keep playing this game until you run out of points. And it's even more interesting if you're using a secondary weapon with a different scaling like the spear, where the secondary attribute might be more important. You kind of might actually end up wanting to 50-50 your points. Lex underscore fast Uzi pointed out something very interesting. When we get to very late game and we're looking at like 500 points plus, then investing into two attributes actually ends up with a similar overall damage to one weapon that can just invest into a primary attribute. The interesting difference is that after 300 points, the weapon that only scales with one attribute doesn't get any extra effects. The player using a weapon with two attribute scalings gets perks from two different attribute trees. So a spear user could for example have all of the dexterity and a lot of the strength effects and deal similar damage to a great axe user that only gets the strength effects. A very interesting way in which the tables turn there. And here are, as promised, the numbers that I can't 100% verify yet. These are exclusively for level 60 only, and what they should indicate is how much extra damage your weapon gets overall. Not just the damage that you get from scaling, but how much damage your weapon gets in comparison to the one that it has at zero extra stats. Again, there are a lot of factors going into this and I can't verify all of them yet, but it should at least be a rough outline. But we're still not done. We've only looked at the weapon scaling in isolation so far, and not how it compares to constitution scaling. We've also not yet looked into intelligence and focus gems and how exactly they modify the damage. If you want to see that, subscribe and click the bell, so you'll hear about that when it's coming later this week. Also, please let me know in the comments which one you want to hear about first. And speaking of comments, you will find two things in a pinned comment. The first one is a community discord that I decided to open. If you're free to join there, it'll be exclusively for a new world. It'll have a theory crafting corner, it'll have some roles for factions, and it'll have a role for Australian players. If you are from Australia and you want to play with me, then that's a place to go because I'm playing on the Australian servers when they launch. But of course, the discord is open for people from all around the world. The other thing you'll find down there is a link to the infographic for what we talked about here. You guys absolutely destroyed that watch time goal, so thank you very much for that. And I much appreciate your support, but I also absolutely heard the voices saying that they didn't appreciate of this method, so we're not doing it for this video. Obviously, if you appreciate this type of content and you want to help getting it into YouTube's finicky algorithm, then you can re-watch it or share it with people who you think would watch it as well, or you can download it if you have YouTube Premium, and that all helps a ton with the watch time, which is what YouTube wants these days. And with that, thank you very much for watching, and thanks to everyone who provided additional information, making sure that this video is as accurate as possible. I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.